sister good morning let's talk so this particular one this is Amma um, this is on the Candy Talks with Amma Manson series this is Amma reflecting on questions that I get from people today the title is simply sister let's talk sister let's talk about your power and when you lose it when you are born as a girl I know in some homes your role is diminished as a child more opportunities are given to the boys and whatnot that happens you know it happens there is no need pretending it doesn't there is no denying that one it does happen but as you age when you come to um, maybe your late teens early 20s you actually become a very powerful person suddenly even if your parents did not make you powerful at home you become an attractive woman you become a viable woman one a lot of men would want to take home some would want to take you to be their mistress other people will want you to be their wives other people want to hit and run people have all sorts of things they would like to do with you but then unless a person is a rapist in which case they have a mental illness and they be, be long behind bars somewhere should not be operational in normal society most civilized men will approach you and they will proposition you they will propose to you to come and be whatever they want you to be my dear that is the most powerful period of your life before you say yes before you say i do before you commit you are in in the power position you are in pole position and you get to call the shots you determine what happens you decide who you are going to be with but remind yourself that that is the most powerful you will be beyond that point depending on the choice you made the kind of person you pass that power on to you might be diminished or you might be elevated further let's talk we are talking about the selection of your life partner this guy that you are about to select you are the kingmaker just so you know it is your decision which installs somebody as king of your life or not it is your choice which determines which genes you want to mix with to produce with children it is your choice which attitudes you want to engage with and which you don't it is your priorities which will determine the kind of man you select it is your choice never say that it was out of your hands it is in your hands to make this choice you can pass that on to your parents to elect on your behalf you can let your friends choose on your behalf but it is your choice and it's about time you know that you are the person who will live with the consequences of this choice it better be yours to make this guy that you are about to elect once you've selected you are the kingmaker you will never become king but you choose the next king once that person is king their word is law they rule over you they control a lot of things, especially if you come from these communities where your husband is your head, your protector, your decision maker, your provider and whatnot. What this guy believes and what this guy wants and what this guy allows is going to control your life from that point. So be very mindful of this before you choose. If you choose a tyrant, then you are in trouble because tyranny is your portion they're on in if you choose a gentleman then you can have the existence of the lady of a gentleman if you choose a boring person then your life would be determined to be boring because this person will control a lot of things the activities that will be allowed uh, in the family arena what would be sanctioned as okay and what would not be okay what would be permitted and what would not be permitted there's a lot an awful lot of things that would be determined from that point because of this man and his beliefs and where he comes from take a minute to think very carefully before you select no the amount of money he has does not play any role in this a guy can be very comfortable and make your life a living hell if you choose wrongly somebody can give you all the creature comforts of this world and you will still be depressed and miserable because you got the fundamentals wrong you want this guy to have similar beliefs to you might not be identical but similar beliefs 
they should see similar things as important. People say opposites attract, but you have to be very careful with the kind of opposites you attract. Because if your opposite is way too opposite, you are going to find your opposite life very difficult to manage. I believe in family bonding. And I believe in family bonding enshrined in activities. I want family bonding to be done within activity context. I want to be able to take my family elsewhere and to do things and to explore together. And yes, it will require some money. Most of the time, I want that money to come from my income because I get to decide what we do and that's fine. I expect the man I am with, even when he doesn't feel like it, to also see this as important and to commit to making an effort to make it happen. If the guy you are with is able to do that, good for you. If the guy you are with is incapable of doing that, then whew, you are in trouble. Whew, you are in big trouble. It is really important, really important, that somebody has this discussion with you, particularly before you choose, so that you start exploring this guy for not just his looks, not just his monetary standing, his financial positioning, uh, not how viable people think he is, you know, how gentlemanly he is, but you have to dig deep into belief systems. What is important to this guy? What is his position on women empowerment? Does he think a woman should be heard? Or does he believe a woman should be seen and not heard? Does he intend to be your corrector? Or does he understand you a fully grown woman who has already been raised, whose ideologies have already been formed, and he just wants to guide? He wants to work with what he gets. Or is he in to change you? Because some guys marry women and they intend to change to control. Have you actually explored his control um, streaks? Have you checked to see if he believes a woman should be allowed to grow? Or does he have self-esteem issues? If you make a mistake, no matter how well packaged a guy is, no matter how well resourced he is, if he is a control freak and you are a woman like me, that is the recipe for disaster. I am fiercely independent, fiercely independent, and I needed a guy who was man enough to let me be. I needed a guy who was big enough to let me grow tall. One who is not threatened by me. One who understands that we play to put in the same pot. Those were the things that I actually looked for in the man I married. Did I get the choice 100% right? Some people will contend, but I think I did. The guy I found is a guy who understands the madness of this woman. And the madness of this woman includes wanting to become better, wanting to grow. And no, when I'm ready to grow, I actually don't wait for anybody else before I make an action. I, I am off. And if you intend to keep up, you better keep up. That's me. And I knew, fortunately, from a very early age, that not many men would be able to live with me. I knew many men will find that very challenging. Many men will want to control. And I am so rebellious to control. So I had to, had to explore very deeply in selecting who would be right for that. That is the love of my life because it's the person who lets me grow and be. That person makes me capable of achieving my very best. That person does not stifle my need to grow because it's a need for me. Be clear of your own perspectives. Be clear of your own priorities in this life. And cross-reference these priorities very carefully with the man you are electing to be your king. His law is what you are going to be subjected to. Will his law choices be favorable? Will he create an enabling environment for you? Or will it always be an uphill struggle to do anything? Will he put impediments in your way every time you want to progress? Or is he big enough to let you be? Is he big enough to let you become? 
does he know that when you have a very strong team player as a team leader, it still plays to your advantage? Does he understand this? Or is he one of those guys who is going to see his own teammates as competition? You need to ask. You need to ask, my dear. Is he a cake in his ways? And can you live with somebody who is a cake in his ways? It will begin to grate on your nerves after a while, so be clear that it's something you can live with. You will begin to grate on his nerves. So check for compatibility very carefully. No, compatibility not necessarily in height. Not necessarily in speaking the same language. It's not the language you speak which matters. It's the content you speak which matters. The ideologies you represent which matters. I believe in the girl's child and her freedoms. Does a man believe in that? I believe in my intelligence as a girl. Does a man believe in that? I believe my capabilities can be superior to anybody, regardless of gender. And I also believe my capabilities can be inferior to anybody, regardless of gender. Does he believe that? Some of these things are very fundamental. And if you have a fundamental discord, it might be better to elect to move. It might be better to try your luck elsewhere. It might be better just to say, this one will not work for me because it probably won't work for you. You will have to negotiate and renegotiate constantly. It will take an awful lot of energy. Your marriage will be work from the very beginning till the very end. And it doesn't have to be if you get the choice process done right. So sister, good morning. Kingmaker extraordinaire, good morning. Madame who gets to choose your Lord, can you submit to this guy? Submit, submit is a word a lot of men like to throw around town. But do you know that some people are impossible to submit to because some people just don't command respect? Some people are just not dynamic enough to lead you. Some people are not man enough to lead you. Do you know what kind of leader you need? And the very kind of man who can command leadership in your presence. A man who will commit, command that you subject to. They don't demand it, they just command it from the way they act, from the way they hold themselves, from the way they respect themselves, from the way they lead from how dynamic they can be, that you are so excited watching this person and you are happy to follow their lead. Find that guy. That's who you need. That's who should lead you. That is who would make it easier for you to follow. When your leader plays your tune, it is so easy to dance to the tune. When your leader speaks your language, you understand what he means and you can follow easily. Select, select wisely and make sure he who you select is worthy of your choice. Because once that choice is made, once these bands go on, once you become his missus, his word is law in many, many communities. You might not believe it, but people around you will definitely enforce it. So don't take that risk. Don't make that choice without due diligence without giving full and due consideration. Check and check and check again and be an FBI agent if necessary. Look in his background. Check his interactions with other people. Check when he is messing with his friends. Check how he relates to the females in his life and it will help you work out what he really does believe in. Not what he says with his lips, but what he does from his actions. Get to know this guy up close and personal before you choose. It's a topic I intend to explore more of. I don't intend for these videos to be more than 15 minutes and we are approaching 15 minutes already. So let me wrap this up here in saying this. You are the king maker. You get to choose the king. But once the king is chosen, he rules, he rules. Can you subject to this king you are selecting? Can he rule you? Can you follow him? Is he worthy of your followership?
or is it difficult for you to do so? If the answer is no, then www.wakapass.com will be your website. Elect to leave. Live and let live would be my policy there on in. My name remains Amma. It's good that you watched me. I hope that you've managed to pick one or two from me. And if you know any young ladies coming to this decision making, please share the video with them. Help them to figure out what's really important in this choice and what really is insignificant. My handles, I'm Amansin on all social media handles. Please follow up. Please subscribe to the pages. Please share with networks and help people to discover me. Thank you so much for watching.